the new Fanatec WRC9 steering wheel is in my hands, but before we review it, I have to let it go. it's back i guess it enjoyed its trip and uh, only a small scratch on the bottom not bad considering it went down a few hills well let's get on with the review the Fanatec CSL Elite Steering Wheel WRC. Very similar in appearance to the Fanatec CSL Elite P1 Xbox wheel, but it does have a couple of key differences. The most notable being removable shifter paddles, a new quick release system, and a more chunky Alcantara wheel rim grip. Of course, like other Fanatec Xbox compatible wheel rims, this wheel lets you use your Fanatec equipment with an Xbox and the upcoming Xboxes. Of course, if you have a PlayStation 4 compatible wheelbase, you can use this with that for it to then work on the PlayStation 4 or the PlayStation 5. Obviously, it works with a PC. Everything works with a PC because PCs aren't stupid. Now, in the box, aside from the wheel, you get a bag that would be useless for murdering people as it's far too porous, and some replaceable button caps, which can replace the default Xbox buttons that are already on the wheel for button caps that display imagery associated with windscreen wipers, headlights, seat position. You get the idea. Now, in terms of aesthetics, the wheel has aluminium spokes that lead to a genuine Alcantara-covered grip that, assuming you're wearing gloves, will stick to your hands like a building sticks to the hands of Spider-Man. Unless you're severely colorblind, you will have also have noticed the orange stitching and orange shifters. Personally, I like the way the orange contrasts with the black, but if you don't like the color orange, unlucky. 150. Now, more important than visuals and random spec list features is what the wheels actually like to use when playing driving simulators. Obviously, this being the official WRC rally wheel and the official wheel for the WRC 9 game, we tried it with WRC 9 to get things going. And I have to say, it felt absolutely fantastic, as you would expect a circular wheel to feel with a rally game. If you're gonna play a rally game or do some proper sideways drifting, you really want a proper circular wheel. You can play with a D-shaped rim, you can use a formula rim, but there's nothing quite like letting go of the wheel and having it slide through your fingertips only to grip back onto it and still drive into that tree. Some things did stand out with the wheel, which made it actually quite nice to use. The first will be the actual shape of the wheel rim itself in terms of the general grip shape. It's cushiness from the Alcantara and the overall size of it all go together to make a really comfortable, really precise feeling general circular steering wheel. In contrast, my OMP Trecento wheel rim, which I personally absolutely love, has a unique kind of shape to it, which will definitely annoy certain people and probably not accommodate certain hand sizes. Whereas the Fanatec Rally WRC wheel I think everyone would be happy with it. It might not be their absolute ideal, but I doubt it's going to be something that would irritate someone that prefers more shapely wheel rims. Another aspect that really stood out with this wheel rim were the shifters, and more specifically the actual shifter action and the button that the shifters connect to. They're not magnetic shifters, so you don't get that really satisfying clunky click that you get with the neodymium magnets, but there is a really positive action on them, and the nature of the action makes it very difficult to accidentally double shift. Given that with a rally wheel, if you're using the sequential on the wheel itself, is rotating all over the place, this is pretty significant. And the shifter action on these are better than the Club Sport Universal Hub shifters. So uh, really good improvement by Fanatec with those shifter buttons and uh, it's something that I wasn't expecting. 
Something I didn't think I would care about, but ended up caring about, was the centre line on this wheel. Now, on most rally wheels or perfectly circular wheels, you will notice that there's a bit of different coloured fabric right at the top centre. And in some cases, people just add a bit of tape. So you know where the top centre of the wheel is and you know which direction your wheel is pointing. Sounds silly, but, you know, when things get a bit frantic, it can get a bit confusing. What's nice is with this wheel, that is done with an LED light, which works as a very handy shift indicator. Maybe I'm slightly more mentally deficient than your average person, but I definitely find having lights strobing in my face helps me know when I need to click the button. I'm a simple man, light flash, change gear. Now below the LED light is of course the classic Fanatec number display. This display is used for changing wheel settings, but using the Fanalab software, you can also have it display the RPM, the speed you're traveling at, the gear, and when those different things display. It's not fancy, it's quite basic, but it's easy to see, and it does the job. Now, in terms of the faceplate buttons, you know, they're faceplate buttons. There's nothing that exciting to report with them. They don't feel bad, but they don't feel particularly titillating either. Having said that, the D-pad joystick thing definitely has a nice satisfying click to it it's very obvious when you actuate it and move it around so you're not going to accidentally misclick on various options despite it not being a funky joystick it's surprisingly easy to still change the wheel options and one of the things i've found with wheel rims that are obviously designed for use on console as much as they are pc is that they tend to make navigating your console game menus nice easy and slick as the games are designed to work with this kind of button layout In conclusion, this is an absolutely fantastic circular wheel rim, especially for those of you with a Fanatec CSL Elite or a Club Sport V1 V2 wheelbase. Um, really good for rally driving and, you know, really nice improvement on the quick release system. I would say, however, though, as a negative, can't be completely positive, if you have a Fanatec podium or fanatec dd1 dd2 direct drive wheel you will find when you use the csl elite wheels because of their plastic quick release and their less sturdy construction your dd motor will work in its lower torque um mode essentially the same as if you didn't put the torque key in the back of the dd motor now for rally driving i didn't actually find that a problem because you don't really want super duper high torque with rally driving but if you're playing games like Assetto Corsa, iRacing or R Factor 2, where you really do benefit from the extra power of a DD motor, um, you'll just be missing out on the potential of what your direct drive wheel can put out uh, when using this circular wheel rim. And you'd be much better served by getting a podium wheel or the club sport wheels that allow the full torque from the direct drive motor. Lastly, it's really worth pointing out the quick release on this. And I, ju I just hope Fanatec start using this quick release with uh, more wheel rims in the future. Like, I hope this is what they move to. And I would even go so far as to say, is this sort of rotating quick release, um, just do a metallic one and use it on the other wheels because it, it actually slots in and works in some ways better than the quick release that you have with the, uh, with the, with the podium and the club sport wheels. I mean, it might not look as, uh, as, as attractive or as legit, but it, in, in my opinion, it actually works a bit better. And that's whilst it's made out of plastic. So uh, really good job on the quick release design and go with that Fanatec, <laughs> go with that. Fanatec sent me this wheel for free to review. So you basically can't trust anything in this video. As always, don't trust idiot YouTubers, do lots of research. But uh, if you've done your research and uh, you like what you've seen and you're going to get one, feel free to use my Fanatec affiliate link underneath this video. That way you can support this idiot YouTuber and allow me to make more videos whilst drinking expensive cups of tea. If you have any questions about this or anything sim racing and flight sim related, fire those questions in the comments section and I'll try my best to answer them. But... Um, until the next video, I hope you found this useful and interesting. Happy tea drinking and goodbye, everybody.